Who's that? Disentangling connections rerouted. This isn't an accident. Biggest mistake of your life, and you will pay dearly for it. Stop, come on. Please, before it's too late. Security to the quantum lab. Security to the quantum lab. Code red. Listen to me. What you saw in my lab, that was nothing more than the early stages of a very important experiment. It may not be pleasant, but Daybreak is the future of the human species. The only future. Look around. Corruption, climate change, nuclear war. Humanity is doomed to self-destruction, but Daybreak can change that. Help me bring about the next stage of human evolution. We can save lives. We can ascend.
that sec? Are you seeing all this? She's dying. You brought a friend. Everyone you killed and tortured. All of that was to save your sorry life. You're pathetic. This isn't about me. With our minds in the cloud, humanity can endure any natural disaster. We can be safe, free, and happy forever. I don't give a shit about humanity. You're a psycho brat who wants what she wants, and fuck everyone else, including your mother. You still have time to make things right. Reactivate my upload. Let me live so I can continue my work. Me. You can't believe a single thing she says. Now shut down her life support and finish this. Whatever you decide, she can't stop you. I can't stop you. The choice is yours. Please, don't! Yes, do what's right. The real work can begin, and I have so much time. Sky Larson has completed her cloud upload. She's gone. What the fuck, dead sec? That was my big contract, and you just let her get away! Let's have that debate somewhere that isn't here. Your mate gave Larson fucking immortality. Pathetic. We help Larson, she lets us into her robo-paradise. Maybe she'll actually save the world. Isn't that supposed to be your fucking job? I can't help but think of those AI she created. Robotomized, enslaved, shit. This doesn't have to be the end of our collaborations now. What else can we do? You can fuck right off. That's what you can do. Last adventure of Detective Bagley and his occasionally helpful human sidekicks, we discovered that a billionaire tech mogul and a war profiteer both had secret plots to exploit human suffering and murder thousands. A shocking twist, I know. Speaking of the people we most suspect, Mary Kelly's slave trade is bound to be any day now, and we also just received a distress signal from a coffee shop of all places. Maybe the Wi-Fi is down or something. Oh, is that relevant, Bagley? Yes, obviously there's more to it than that, but I knew I had to make a joke where you just tune it out. I've marked both leads on your optic. Me. Sorry for hanging up on you. Look, if you really still want to make a difference, you're free to use the 404 hubs and complete contracts. Beyond that, I just need some time away from you lot. Layers. This is strange. One of our servers is being pinged constantly from the Wi-Fi of a particular Star Roger coffee. And the reason I should care? Yes, I thought it was noise at first too, but then I decoded the pings. It's Morse code. Three letters repeating over and over. Go on. S. O. Wait for it. S. We need to dig into this. Send me the coordinates. Broker Tech announced earlier today the official launch of Daybreak the neural mapping technology designed to allow people to live forever. Already, customers on the company waitlist are undergoing the procedure behind closed doors. A source within BrokerTech said that the project is being carried out in memory of the company's founder, the late Sky Larson.
I'm here. What now? There doesn't seem to be any obvious peril, does there? Have a seat and I'll ping back the IP, sending us the distress signal. Uh, miss? You're a time traveller or something? Who calls on a flip phone? It's a cryptophone. It's secure. Every device on CTOS can be compromised. If we're overheard, we're dead. Both of us. Who the fuck is this? Not important. What matters is that I have inside information on SIRS, and I believe the people who framed you are rogue officers. And loath as I am to say it, dead sec may be my only hope to stop them. All right, we'll listen, but no promises. Good. I hit coordinates to a meeting place on a device in that establishment. I don't like this. Bags. Sabine, what are we into here? All right, that's a wrinkle. So this SARS bloke says Zero Day are a bunch of Secret Service dickheads. I mean, I suppose it does make sense. The bombings were too sophisticated for randos, but SARS could pull it off. Officially, SIRS, or the Signals Intelligence Response Service, uses surveillance data drawn from CTOS to identify large-scale terrorist and criminal threats. Then they send Albion to shoot the threats in the face, for example. And in the wake of escalating violence in London, the SIRS is extending the right to use lethal force to law enforcement and Albion securities. Unofficially, SIRS uses your data to read your mind and arrest you for having naughty thoughts. So we have means and opportunity, which leaves motive. SARS are fascist pricks, but they're supposed to stop groups like Zero Day from doing terrorist shite. Why cause one? When you meet this guy, ask. I've got a problem. That Sirs guy isn't here, and there was a fight. What should we do? SIRS may be onto him. If you get access to the area's surveillance infrastructure, I can rebuild the scene in AR. All right. I'll give it my best. Do your part. Report suspicious activities to authorities without delay. Report any suspicious activity. Public security is everywhere. <laughs> Turn to the scene and I'll reconstruct what happened to our contact. CTOS AR data. That appears to be our contact.
Fucking hell. Yes, it certainly doesn't look like his best day, does it? Analyse the clues in the AR workspace to find out what happened to him. This is a non-lethal weapon, so odds are he's still alive, though he may not want to be. They've taken our SIRS contact away, but they may still be nearby. I can reconstruct the vehicle's path from unsecured CCTV recordings. That should allow you to follow it. Looks like our contact's assailants stopped here, but I can't see them nearby. Let's analyze the data to see if we can find out where they went. CTOS AR, data reconstruction in progress. Our contact's assailants are switching vehicles to elude pursuers, which is standard operating procedure for private military perks like Albion. Albion? Shouldn't they be sirs? What can I tell you? They're mercenaries. If you keep looking, you might find out why they're interested in an SRS whistleblower. I've completed a thorough analysis of the vehicle and concluded it is a van. Hilarious, Bagley. What else? Well, I could also mention that the minute traces of sand in the tyre tracks indicate that it's been on a construction site recently. But you know me. Hate to sound like a smartass. I've been scanning nearby construction yards for Albion activity and, long story short, some dozy git has forgotten to turn off the security camera in the makeshift torture room. Show me. I'm not who you think I am. You're Malik, a SERS officer and a leaky fucking twat. It's not me, I swear to God, please, please! Oh, fuck. This guy's got a head full of deep state secrets. We have to save him before he blabs. Bagley, give me a location. You hit give up now! Yourself, yeah? Fuck yourself.
Easy, easy, easy. I'm dead sick. You called us. Of course. You shouldn't have come here. Now they'll know for sure I've betrayed them. I just saved you, you knob. No, you've just damned us both. Look, um, I'll upload the intelligence onto an anonymous FTP. It'll explain everything. Actually, how about you explain everything? My name is Richard Malik. I'm an intelligence analyst. I believe Zero Day are rogue SIRS officers who framed you for the bombings to seize power. Now they're murdering or blackmailing anyone who threatens them, which now somehow includes me. Fine. Bagley will check out the info. But I better not regret this. That I can't promise. This is like hardcore WikiLeaks shit. Let's check the intel right away. All right, one second. Bagley, could you look into it? If his intel looks good, schedule a briefing with everyone. I've been burned enough times to know what a hot stove looks like. We should walk away from this. Don't know about that. He needs our help. May I present the third option? Just use him. An SIRS whistleblower, even one you don't trust, could still help us find the arseholes that blew up half of London and framed DedSec for it. You don't have to invite him to your birthday, just use his information. Solid idea. All right. Gist. Malik's intelligence checks out. A rogue faction of SRS officers framed DedSec for the bombings to consolidate power over the government. But now they've noticed that some people are standing up to the new order and they're blaming you. I believe these are the people you call Zero Day. I don't know their names, but it's safe to assume they have a ringleader. And in my experience overseas, removing the leader. Right, kill the Queen and the whole Zero Day hive dies. Why now though? Two weeks ago, a shell company connected with Zero Day's operations imported 40 kilos of Semtex from an old Soviet bloc depot. But it never left London. Which means Zero Day is planning a bombing that will make those earlier bombings look like a bonfire. And I think I know why. As we're all now painfully aware, false flag attacks are a common propaganda tool for despots. Kill a load of people and the rest fall into line behind whoever says they won't let it happen again. In this case, Zero Day. Which means we both want to discover who's pulling Zero Day strings and stop them. We need to get hold of the personnel dossiers of anyone connected with the earlier bombings and their cover-up. Then Malik and I can analyze their common connections and work out who's in charge of Zero Day. And I'll be on the con to observe. So if Malik's right, Zero Day are some kind of shadowy cabal of spies who blew up half the city to secretly take control of the government. But now they're pissed off that someone's standing up to them, so they're going to do it again. That's awful. I agree. You'd think they'd come up with something besides another bombing. Bit of a double beat, isn't it? Is it true? Zero Day's trying again just because we stood up to them. That's taking negative reinforcements to the next level, isn't it? Cut that victim-blaming shit. I'd rather get blown up a thousand times than lie down just so some wannabe tyrants can stamp on my face. I'm here. You're stealing Sir's personnel dossiers. The organization is strictly compartmentalized, so they aren't stored in one central location. About time we spied on the spies. So what's the plan? SIRS uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like Noodle, if you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom. Instantly. Fucking hell. You could be horrified if you want, but it saved thousands of lives. Get access to a filament terminal and I'll provide you with the search terms. I need a lockdown on that drone. There's no malingering.
So this is filament. Impressive. I can help you break in, but we're going to leave a trail. Unless, of course, Malik has an idea. There. I persuaded Filament's security to log that Spiderbot's activity as system maintenance. You're awfully helpful for a professional snoop. It's not like the movies. Spies aren't the police. I believe in working with the lesser evils like DeadSec to protect society from the greater ones. So why did Zero Day kill all my friends? There are differing schools of thought. Right, okay. Got those spy dossiers. Can't wait to see what's in here. Nice fucking work, bruv. the dirt on Sirs here. Right, so we do a simple CTOS contact analysis and work out who's in charge of Zero Day. I'll have it done before you can say Guantanamo. I'll handle the classified data, thank you very much. It would be so much faster if I worked with you in order to do this. The people in these dossiers are connected, but not necessarily complicit. It will take intelligence expertise to separate the wheat from the chaff. And when I discover something actionable, I will contact you. He's disconnected. Ah! Pleasant fella. I have Malik for you. Put him on. We have to meet. There's been a complication. I can't access the files you stole. Whoa, 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 what? The files are locked, and a moment after we got them, I received this. Hello, Richard. We see you're trying to find us by looking into our associates. That's a good idea. Hope you don't mind if we borrow it. Who was your masked saviour, we wonder? I've sent Bagley the coordinates for a meeting. I hope I don't need to explain why this is a priority. Got a potential recruit for you. I'll mark them on your map. I repeat, all units. We have reports of a hostile in your area. Over. Control, we are ready to engage. Oh. 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 
control. Still pursuing target. Over. Imbecile. 